going to be registered public servants. So, meron ulit tayong panibagong topic about sa civil service examination review. At ito nga ay ang number series part 3. So, sa first two parts, dinuscuss ko yung arithmetic and geometric sequence. So, today naman ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang Fibonacci sequence. So, this is going to be a review with me part 16. So, if you haven't watched the first 15 parts of this video, I'll just put the link of those in the description box down below. Put it in the comment section sa baba para mas madali mo siyang mahanap. And so, yes, before we begin, guys, we have to know yung structure ng video na to para guided tayo all throughout the video. Ano, alam natin yung pagkakasunod-sunod. The first topic that we have is what is Fibonacci sequence? Second is ano ang kahalagahan ng Fibonacci sequence? Pangatlo, ano yung pattern sa Fibonacci sequence? Pangapat, ano ang sample ng Fibonacci sequence? Of course, magbibigay ako. And lastly, your turn to shine. Magbibigay ako sa inyo ng sample question and sasaguna, sasagutan natin yun together para ma-apply natin yung knowledge natin. So, make sure to watch this video until the end. <laughs> okay, so yes, first things first, we need to define what is Fibonacci sequence sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam. So in mathematics, the Fibonacci sequence is a sequence in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. Individual numbers in the Fibonacci sequence are known as Fibonacci numbers, commonly denoted as F sub N. So, kung hindi pa rin natin masyadong maintindihan dahil English siya, that's okay guys. May prinipira akong Tagalog version ng defi definition nito para sa inyong lahat. Kasi ako personally, mas gets ko siya kapag Tagalog. So, simply put, ang Fibonacci sequence po ay isang uri ng number series kung saan ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga numero ay nangyayari kapag pinagsama o pinag-add ang dalawang naon ng numero. So, when you say... Um, preceding numbers, ibig sabihin, preceding means na uuna, and when you say sum, ibig sabihin, pinagsama or pinag-add. Okay? So, ganun po yung mga terms natin. Now, now that we know the definition already, of course, we have to find out the importance of Fibonacci sequence. So, merong walong importance or meron walong kayang gawin yung ating Fibonacci sequence. And I'll read it to you one by one. If you want to know further about this, you can do your own research about the topics. So, the first one is describe branches in a tree, sequences in music, number of petals in a flower, Pascal's triangle, painting, structural design, human anatomy, and shape of a spiral. So, the moment the laman mo yan, ma-apply mo yung mga yon, Yung Fibonacci sequence dyan. Okay. So, alam na natin yung importance ng Fibonacci sequence. Alamin naman natin ang pattern ng Fibonacci sequence. So, um, this is how Fibonacci sequence looks like. So, um, ito yung pattern niya usually ha. So, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. And on and on. So, kung medyo, kung gets nyo na yung pattern, good job. Pero kung hindi pa, that's okay. Iisa-isahin natin yan. So, kung sa arithmetic ang gamit natin doon ay plus at minus, tapos sa geometric naman ay multiply at divide, etong sa Fibonacci sequence, ganito naman siya. So, i-add mo lang yung first two numbers, right? 0 plus 1. So, kung ano yung um, addition ng dalawang number na yun, yun yung katabi niya. So, 0 plus 1 is 1, right? So, uh, tandaan nyo lang yung definition. So, pinag-add ko ulit siya, 1 plus 1, pag samahin mo lang yung dalawang number, is equals to 2, right? And then, after that, i-add mo lang 2 plus 3, is going to be 5. And then, 5 plus 3 would be 8, and so on. So, laging tandaan ang rule na ang bawat numero ay equivalent sa pinagsamang dalawang naon ng numero. So, usually po, nag start yung sequence natin sa pangatlong number. So, pag a nyo muna yung first two numbers, tapos dun yung malalaman yung sequence sa pangatlong number, and so on, and so on. So, now that we know the pattern already, magbibigyan ako sa inyo ng example ng Fibonacci sequence. Ngayon, eto siya. Huwag kayong ma-overwhelm kung mahaba yung number. That's okay. So, we'll start. Himay-himayin natin to siya, guys, ha? Para um, maintindihan natin. Pero, syempre, may shortcut dyan. Usually, pag a mo lang yung 34 and 55, alam mo na yung kasunod. Pero, for the sake of me demonstrating um, the question one by one, 
O, oh, syempre, iisa-isahin natin yan. So, 0 plus 1, pag a ulit natin ang dalawang magkatabing number. Kasi, ang resulta niyan is itong 1 sa katabi. Okay, gets nyo na ba? 0 plus 1 is 1. So, ngayon, pagtatabihin naman natin yung 1 plus 1 would be 2. And then, 2 plus 1 naman would be 3. And then, 3 plus 2 naman would be 5. Then, 5 plus 3 naman tayo would be 8. So, 8 plus 5 naman tayo, the answer is going to be 13. So, 13 plus 8 would be what? The next answer is going to be 21. And then, 21 plus 13 is 34. You can do the math if you want to double check it. And then, 34 plus 21 lang tayo would be 55, right? So, yes, tama. 55. So, ang tamang sagot po ay 55 plus 34. So, ilan yan? So, the correct answer is 89. Pero, wag muna tayong magpaka uh, saya. Charot. So, alamin muna natin. 89 plus 55 by 144. So, kapag pinag-add natin ng 89 at 55, the answer is 144. You can compute that on your own, guys, if you don't believe me. Charis. Okay. Pero, yan. 89 plus 55 would be 144. That just means na 89 ang tamang sagot sa sequence na to. So, gets nyo ba? Sana na gets nyo. Comment down. Yes, gets ko po kung nakukuha nyo. Kung hindi naman, feel free to comment down below. Tell me kung ano yung hindi nyo magets, okay? So, yes, it's your time to shine, my dear. So, the question is this. 2, 4, 6, 10, 16, 26, 42, blank, 110. Ayon, um, you can pause this video if you want to answer this question by yourself lang or on your own. Pero, if not, let's continue this. So, again... Mag-start tayo sa pangatlong uh, number, right? So, 2 plus 4 would be 6, right? And then, 6 plus 4 would be 10. And then, 10 plus 6 would be 16. And then, 16 plus 10 would have been 26, right? And then, 26 plus 16 would be 42. Which means that 42 plus 26 yun yung tamang sagot. Let's check the options later on kung yun ba talaga yung tamang sagot. So, ang nailagay ko dito, 42 plus 26 is 68. Yan yung hinahanap natin. So, make sure i-check natin. 60 is plus 42 is 110, right? So, eto yung choices. A65, B66, C67, D68, E69. So, 68 ang kasama sa choices therefore 68 po ang tamang sagot. So para ma-make sure natin na yan yung tamang sagot, i-add lang natin yung 68 and 42 at kung 1 ten ang lumabas, edi eh, yun ang ayon. <laughs> so good job kung tama yung sagot mo. I appreciate your time and effort. You deserve to pass. So I hope may natutunan po kay sa video natin today. Kung meron, don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe and comment down below. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.